We all know money can't buy you happiness. However, money can make sure you drive on safe roads. Get a coronavirus vaccine and help people fleeing a war. This is what the European budget does, and much more. In recent years, the role of the EU budget has grown with the desire of EU countries to do more together. What's next for the EU budget, and how should it evolve in the future? We ask those to whom the future belongs, the young generation. Let's listen to what they said. Hi, my name is Radish. I'm Mathieu. My name is Tomasz. My name is Anna Maria. I am David. My name is Tom. I'm Matusz. Alexander. I'm Marcus. My name is Joanna. My name is Arthur Ricker. My name is Gore. I believe that the EU budget is not sufficient to meet the contemporary challenges, especially when compared to the other budget of geopolitical power, such as the United States and China. To really build Japan's strategic autonomy, the EU budget must be considerably larger and become the financial expression of the European project. The big issue nowadays is our uh, great dependency of third countries regarding the energy and strategic raw materials and strategic products, mainly on authoritarian regimes. Therefore, I believe it is necessary to invest more in order to be really independent and to protect the Europe, protect citizens and to protect our uh, economy. The war in Ukraine showed that Western countries have been naive towards Russia and that the European Union's member states are not ready for confrontation like this. I believe that the EU must use its budget to improve infrastructure and military-related objects between countries. The Russian invasion of Ukraine destroyed our country and estimation of damages is around 400 billion of euros. I call on EU to increase their budget capacity for emergency to support Ukraine in their reconstruction efforts. The role of the EU's budget in shaping global affairs is evident every day. Faced with an unprecedented crisis and fully aware of the treaty limitations in terms of defence, I firmly believe that recent initiatives such as the proposal for a joint procurement mechanism of weapons by member states is a step in the right direction towards a truly geopolitical union and increased EU defence spending for additional capability. In order to become a geopolitical herd power, the EU needs to have the adequate communication budget to promote EU core values, the European way of life, and trigger the European dream so that you can also help neighbourhood countries with seek EU membership. In order for the EU budget to be sustainable on the long term, young people need to be consulted and involved every step of the way in designing future-proof priorities for the European Union. And I believe that one such priority has to be fostering the European sentiment and European solidarity. And I believe that this can be done through programs such as the Erasmus Plus project, which um, should uh, gain more attention within the EU budget. And we see the biggest challenge facing the youth organisations today as rising inflation. This is making it much more difficult for youth organisations to achieve their mission of ensuring that young people can access their rights in Europe and participate in decision-making processes specifically around the EU budget. So we ask you to firstly increase funding for youth organisations, secondly to ensure that the funding youth organisations received is, is connected to rising inflation and lastly to reduce co-funding requirements for as long as these crises persist. The money borrowed for the next generation EU will have to be reimbursed by future generations. Coming from one of those generations, I do believe that we have the right to have a seat on the table and be able to decide about future EU policies. For me, the EU budget is not flexible enough because you can never predict when a crisis is going to happen. So what I propose is to create an EU emergency fund that would be inside the EU budget and that could be used instantly without any administration work and that would be large enough to cover a symmetrical crisis on the EU scale. The EU budget is providing critical support across many investment areas. However, recently the environment around Europe has become increasingly uncertain. Because of this, I believe that for the EU budget to be able to effectively respond to future crises, it has to become more efficient and flexible. The European leaders and experts need to start thinking about the more federal budget, a common fiscal rules, bonds and European taxes. So I think it's uh, time for the European Union to bind all the member states on the repayment of one debt. And you. What's your vision for the future of the EU budget?